are you getting unknown host error message in your Adenos server if yes then pause this video till then because i am going to give you the best solution so first of all you need to go to your Adenos server just go to the server page and after that you need to go to the options from the left hand panel scroll down a bit and you need to turn on this cracked option if it is like turned off you need to turn this option on like this and if, if whitelist option this is the whitelist option if it is turned on turned off then turn it on so turn on this cracked and whitelist option both of them from the options uh, section of your server and the second option is to enter correct IP address so to go to the server page so here in you can see pg tech help so this is a server I need to copy this uh, entire server name and enter the correct server name uh, so make sure to do that also make sure to start your server as it is showing offline you need to click on this start up and you need to uh, click on yes and uh, wait for a while it will start uh, within a few seconds or minutes uh, according to the waiting time you can see 14 minutes is showing waiting in queue so it will start within 14 minutes so you can also use dynip you can click on the i button and go to the dynip page and use this dynip to connect to your server so the next step is to flush dns for this you need to go to windows search here in type cmd and here in right click here in command prompt and click on run as administrator here in you need to type ip uh, configs uh, slash flush dns i will share you this command in the video description as well you can see successfully flush the dns resolver cache so the next step is to change the dns in your pc so if you are in windows pc you need to first of all go to windows search and here in you need to type control panel and open this control panel option from here and after that you need to click on network and internet option Net now click on network and sharing center here you need to click on change adapter settings choose the wi-fi which you are using right click here and click on properties i am using this one here you need to look for internet protocol version 4 first just tap on double tap on this click on this use the following dns server tap here the preferred dns server should be 8888 an alternate DNS server should be 8844 and just click on OK option. After that, you scroll down a bit. You need to click on IP Internet Protocol version 6 and click on use the following DNS server address. So, here you need to enter preferred DNS this and alternative DNS should be this. And uh, I will share you all this command in the description as well. You can check them and just press on OK button. After following all these steps, make sure to restart your PC and check whether this issue gets resolved or not. In case you face any problem, you can mention it in the comment section. I will make sure to give you a reply. And if you find this video helpful, just hit on the like button. Also, subscribe my channel for my upcoming videos.